All right, right now I'm data logging the vacuum pull down. And as you can read here, it's just falling under 300 microns. And I've been data logging it. I started it over time. And so a snapshot of the data logging of the vacuum pull down. This also goes with the customer's invoice or receipt to prove that you have performed and you have reached a certain level of vacuum to assure the customer that all air has been removed out of the system and as much moisture as you possibly can uh, on top of your superheat subcooling, your pressures and data log your trend line of your temperatures. If you're a customer and your shop doesn't do this, demand and ask for them. If they cannot perform and provide this information for you, go look somewhere else. Because this is a time and day and age where we're going into the 22nd century. There's no reason for you to, as a customer, when you're paying $100, $200, $300 an hour, to have somebody just have an old pair of gauges and shoot little cans inside there without proving they performed the task right. On a lot of these new cars, especially heat pumps, think of a Tesla with a heat pump system. If you burn up a compressor, say on a Y model, and you have the rear uh, system with the solenoid valve, and you have to cool the packs and the glycol loop system and everything like that, all those lines have to be taken apart and flushed out. The accumulator is gone, the receiver dryer is gone, the condenser is gone. You're talking several thousand dollars of damage when somebody does it wrong. And you better be able to prove you did it right to your customer. And you as a customer, if the shop cannot prove to you they've done everything and recorded everything to hand it off to you, go somewhere else. Real simple. We're too late in the game. No more of this 1950s uh, jerk off cans with the little funky gauges with leaky little, uh, you know, you go to the guys, Look inside their gauges, look at all their O-rings and stuff at the end of their seals and stuff. And what I've noticed is you always come across them with nicks and scratches inside their O-rings and that's how they leak uh, air back in. And you have guys go, oh, well, when I turn off my vacuum pump, I switch my hose over really fast and I charge it fast so I don't get as much air in. That's the word, as much. You either get zero in or you get some in. There is no in between. You do it right, you do it wrong, and get the hell out of the trade. So buck up guys invest in the equipment perform excellent procedures for your customers to take care of your customers it's time to turn the game and this trade around and get rid of the riffraff and anybody who wants to get up to the next level start data logging all your work and provide your customer with printouts all right see you guys